been looking at um, fast deploy ridge lines uh, first in the concept I first came across it was uh, with Corpus Corner um, and it showed a fast deploy ridge line. I looked at a few others and I think I've taken well I've taken what I think is the best bits from each one and I've added my own little stamp to it as well so uh, I'm gonna see how quick that gets up I mean they are useful first thing you want to do when you get caught in the rain is get yourself out undercover and the fast deploy ridge line will let us do that so I introduce you to uh, the quick deploy ridge line I was talking about earlier. Just for the speed of, of start to rain, so I want to get this stuff quite quick. I put a loop at this end, which I've woven through, and then just lashed it down. And then I've got three, four little uh, prussic loops on one end, and on the other end, I've got this quick cam here. So I'm going to put this loop, this line up now, and uh, it should only take a couple of minutes, and hopefully we can get out of this rain. No knots. First of all, I'm just going to slide these prussics down a bit, like that. Then I'm going to go to my first tree, let's do it over there, and I'm going to need a toggle. like that. I'm going to pass this through, pass it round, then I'm going to put a little bit of a, I'm going to pass it round, then I'm going to push a loop through like that, and then put the toggle in. And I think this is what's called a marlin spike hitch. I'll just tighten that up like that. Then I'm going to come get one of these prussics, those three can stay there, and slide it along to the other end, and then leave it about here. So what this is going to do, this is going to form the loop on my trucker's hitch. But instead of tying the trucker's hitch off on the far end of my line, I have this little cam carabiner. And that just tightens up on a cam. So I'm going to pull that round to about there. I'm going to pass the cam. Just see how that works there. I'm going to pass the cam around that and then pass that through my prussic and then tighten the cam there you go that's the ridge line off I can tighten that up a bit more if I want yeah prussic slipping a little bit but there you go so the next thing now is to actually get the tarp up an old faithful British military tarp. There we go. And I'm going to just do this flat because I'm going to probably over that tree so we just want somewhere dry to sit. Look at this end. So if we call this a uh, Prussic loop number one, and again, I just need a little bit of a toggle. Preferably one, maybe decent wood. I'm going to pass that through my loop, pass it through the loop like that, toggle in, and then just let that come down like that. I'm going to take, we'll call this Prussic number three. Slide it along, another toggle, through the loop, toggle in, and then we're down. Now I can just pull all this nice and tight, like that. And if I wanted to, I could also put another toggle in uh, here, or I can use that to hang something from. All I'm going to do now, because this is just a quick, uh, a quick setup, just to keep us dry while we're messing around here. I'm just going to tie this onto there, and then put uh, a line from that one to the tree behind uh, Jason. If you want to turn around, be careful because the pot's behind you. And that will give us just a, an area underneath that we can sit and do stuff. I'll be back once I've done it. <laughs> 